All right, so what I want to go over today is I've been flying this Diatone Take and two and a half inch, the C25. And I mainly been flying because I have a lot of a supply of these 3S cells, the 450, 650, and the 850 packs to fly just the, the basic quad. <clears throat> now I acquired uh, one of these Acaso V50X uh, stabilized action cameras. They're very inexpensive, about $80. And uh, I've done a lot of testing, made up a little TPU mount to go on the front. And uh, it's really actually a pretty good fit for this uh, for this quad versus a, a GoPro 8 that's a lot heavier. This is only like 72 grams. And uh, But as you'd expect, when you add a camera onto a small quad, it's uh, going to take more energy and therefore your runtime is going to drop. So what I want to do is do a test, testing 3S. 450, 650, 850, and compare uh, what kind of run times I get with and without the that camera mounted. And then I also bought some 4S equivalent, 450, 650, and 850. And I want to see, again, what the run time is with and without the camera. Now this particular quad, I also have it outfitted that it can take an Insta360 Go on the back. For the testing, I did not uh, include that camera in the weight. So let me go over the chart of all the data and uh, go from there. All right, so here's a little chart I put together to summarize all the data. On the left side here, what I'm showing is with the 3S battery packs, the 450, 650, and the 850, and what their equivalent watt hour energy storage capacity is for those three battery types uh, and show what the runtime is going up in blue which would have no camera attached so you see I got about three minutes on the 450 almost 330 on the 650 and almost 530 on the 850 pack so that's mainly what I've been flying when I've had no camera attached and you get some pretty nice run times there. Obviously when I put the camera on, which is that uh, V50X camera, I couldn't really make any use of it with this, the 3S 450. So uh, mainly was doing the testing at the with the 650 and you can tell I only got about two minutes and 15 seconds. And then on the 850 pack, oh, about 300 or three minutes 30 seconds so that was kind of what motivated me to look at some 4s packs which would be a little bit higher weight for each of the 450 650 850 but more uh, capacity you can tell when you go from the 3s 450 to the 4s 450 you're going from 4.7 up to 6.6 .6, uh, watt hours same with the 650 3s up to the 654s you get almost a 50 percent increase so you can start to see when i fly with the 4s packs with no camera i'm getting uh, with the 450 pack uh, about three minutes and uh, what would that be about the 40 seconds 50, 45 seconds up to 430 for the 650 and up to 530 with the 850 and then if I add the camera I'm now getting about three minutes on the 450 a little just a little bit more on the uh, 650 and then on the 850 I'm getting uh, almost four and a half minutes so that's kind of where I'm at with that level of packs now I know do know they make 4s 1000s I might be testing that to see if it looks like I should be able to get over five minutes there, but right now I'm pretty happy with be able to get uh, over four minutes with uh, a 850 pack, which are reasonably affordable. So I thought I'd share this data, and uh, it might help you with making some decisions of what kind of batteries versus what amount of uh, weight that you're going to be carrying. You can see about each of these bars I've added up what the actual weights were for the test configuration there with the this particular quad and the camera battery combination all right 
I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.